What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to be talking about a set that can be used for city building. And I'm not talking about the small city sets. Those absolutely suck. I'm talking about larger buildings such as like the bookshop, uh, assembly square, police station type. So this set is the Real Madrid Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. I know I'm butchering that. I apologize. So this set is retiring at the end of 2023. It's got a retail price of $400, which is in my opinion, way overpriced. But there is a potential that you might be able to earn money with this set. So we're going to take a look at two other stadiums that came out before this to help gauge whether this will be a good investment or not. So let's take a look at the previous sets. We've got item number 10272, Lego Old Trafford, Manchester United. This set retailed for $300, retired November 2022, and it's got a value of $379. So that's honestly pretty decent for one year into retirement. I will say that when these set the these two sets retired, that nobody was buying the set in the states. In in the states, soccer is not popular. And again, I know soccer is called football in Europe and all that, but we're talking strictly states here. Soccer is not popular football dominates so no one was buying the set and these sets went on a decent sale and there was huge talks about these sets on Facebook and generally a ton of people pass them up but a lot of people saw an opportunity to where it could be used alongside in a city because city building so if you're not if you're not familiar and you're new to Lego Investi there's big money in city building and army building it those two things just dominate and I like investing in army building. City building is just out of my price point. It's just too much money for me and too big of a risk. One day when I, if I ever become rich, yeah, I'll probably get into city investing and all of that. But I definitely saw an opportunity because every big city needs a sports team. And right now we don't have any football or baseball stadiums. So this is really what we got. What we got, and you might be able to convert this these sets into say a football stadium but yeah I so city building is popular and they're not bad looking sets I think they did a great job I think the Real Madrid is a pretty decent build uh, the Old Trafford Manchester United it's a pretty decent build and then let's take a look at the other one which is the Camp New uh, item number 102A4. Again, I am butchering these names. I apologize. So this set is the same size as the Real Madrid. So this one has 5,509 pieces. Retired December 2022. Its retail price was 350, but the value right now is 330. So this is a little shocking to me because why is the old, the Manchester United doing way better than the Camp New? Again, I don't know how to say that now new I don't know uh, but is it just because of the Manchester United name I am not familiar with soccer at all but I do know the name Manchester United I that's that's probably arguably the most popular soccer team I, I believe so I wonder if that's what's going on and but either way if this I want to say both these sets went on sale for 250 or less in my Lego store because, again, soccer's not popular in the States and just no one has been buying it. So they put it on a massive clearance. And I just remember there were tons of talks about it. And generally, a lot of people passed it up. But if you pick this set up for 250 you potentially earned a $100 profit. So there is money with these sets. So now, I personally believe that the uh, the Real Madrid stadium is overpriced. This should be a $350, $350 set. So for $400, you have to wait for steep discount if you are investing in this set. Because at $400, I do not see you earning a profit on this set. I see this set selling for maybe $380. And so you'd have to get it for $300 or less. If it came, if it went on a massive discount for Black Friday for 250, you could potentially earn $100 or more on this set. And you just have to do very thorough research and be confident that investing that much money into a set. I'd rather take, let's say it went on sale for 300, 
I would personally rather invest my 300 in Republic fighter tanks than this. It's just too too big of a price point for me. If you've watched my channel before, you know I tend to avoid sets over 180. It's just too risky. My price point is like 130. Those sets I like. I just don't have the money to allocate into this set. And I sell locally, so if I bought this, I would probably have to keep this around for probably three years before I'd be able to find a buyer. Even if I discounted it, I just for me to earn a profit, if I say I bought it for three hundred to sell for four hundred, it would just take forever to sell. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I had to keep it for five years. And that's just too long of an investment for me. I would invest this elsewhere in smaller Star Wars sets. I like the Republic Fighter Tank. You know, any helmet would beat beat any profit on this this set. So, at this price point, this is intended for rich people, essentially. If you got the money, then you can diver diversify elsewhere. But these sets are just too big of a risk. But let's take a look at how these sets are doing on eBay right now. So the Real Madrid, or yeah, the Madrid is selling for, let's see, we've got... 250, 318, 300, 299, less than 270, 290. So the demand isn't high. I, If I were investing in it, I would want to see it in the 300s. So I definitely think this will go on a discount. Hopefully Black Friday you see some good dis discounts and can pick this up for 250. Because I thoroughly believe, if I remember correctly, the other stadiums went on sale for 250. And at 250, it's not a bad investment in my eyes. But again, it's not my kind of investing. I don't have that kind of money. But let's take a look at uh, 10272. See how that's doing. This one's selling for 300, 360, 430, 409, 450, 450. So there's again, if you picked it up on a discount, you could you probably earned over a hundred dollars on this set. But there is a huge risk with Lego investing and selling these kinds of sets online. I I am not comfortable selling any set online. That's why I, I won't even sell a helmet. Because you, all these people can be scammed so easily. It is beyond easy for you to say it just says item is not described. That's, that's the killer for uh, eBay sellers. And that's how... They essentially get these sets for free. So there's huge, there's too big of a risk listing these. And the profit, I mean, if you got on discount, maybe a $100, $150 profit. I don't know. It's just too risky in my eyes. And you have to be aware of that when selling online. I can't emphasize that enough. I'm a local seller, and I just don't think I'd be able to sell a stadium set for 400 to 500 because you're getting in the price point of where the Rivendell set is 500 that set is by far the top 10 Lego sets of all time in my opinion and nobody's going to pay 400 to 500 dollars for a stadium when then it can buy Rivendell it, that's just how I view it and then let's take a look at the last stadium which is item number 10284 this one's doing a little weaker so we've got 300, 3, 346, 350, 350. So it, this entirely Real Madrid depends on sale. Do not buy it at retail. I think that is a terrible investment. I I think if you bought it for four hundred dollars, you would you would not earn a profit at all. Maybe in eight years, but I guarantee that. Lego would have a football stadium or baseball stadium out by then. So you you lose your potentials of conversions. And yeah, that's my thought on that. I would love to hear. I know I've got a few people who comment that are from Europe. Please, you know, if you have any info on the, this, any of these stadiums, is there a huge demand for these compared to the states? I would love to hear it. The community would love to hear it. And yeah, but as always, do your own research, have some fun, make some money.
video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.